In this video, I want to show you a trading strategy with a really good win rate. It combines the Bollinger Bands with the RSI and I find it very effective. So let's jump straight in. I just want to make you aware that forex trading is risky and most traders lose money. This video is for educational purposes only and all charts displayed are historical and nothing discussed here should be taken as trading advice. Hey, I'm Ali from FX Scouts. In this video, I want to show you a very effective trading strategy that uses both Bollinger Bands and the RSI. I really like this trading strategy because it uses a confluence of factors, which means it uses many different factors to confirm the entry signal. So the first step in this trading strategy is to set up your Bollinger Bands. Now I'm using trading view so i click on the indicators tab and type in bollinger bands and the default settings that trading view provides are good but we want to change them for this particular strategy so i go to the length section and i change the value to 30. this makes the simple moving average take the average of the last 30 period then you make sure that the standard deviation is set to two and this is the default setting so you won't generally have to fiddle with this what it does is it makes sure that 95 percent of the price action falls between the two bands that's what a standard deviation of two is. Now, if you aren't familiar with Bollinger Bands, I'll show you quickly how they work. So the center line is the moving average. The lower and upper lines represent standard deviation lines. As you can see, the bands widen when the price becomes more volatile and they contract when it is more stable or the price is ranging. Many traders see the asset is overbought as the price nears the upper band and oversold as they approach the lower band, signaling an opportune time to trade. What you'll also notice is that when the price is ranging, the bands squeeze together and this often provides the precursor for a large burst of volatility or a big price movement. Now although Bollinger Bands are a very valuable indicator they're much more effective when they're used as a secondary indicator. Okay so now we have the Bollinger Band set up I want to set up the RSI so you'll go to your indicators tab type in RSI and click on the one labeled relative strength index. With the RSI added make sure that the upper band is set to 70 and the lower to 30. The length is used Usually set to 14 and so we leave it like that. If you haven't used the RSI before it's similar to Bollinger Bands in that it shows or indicates whether an asset is overbought or oversold. So if the line is above 70 it's overbought, if it's below 30 it's considered oversold. And like Bollinger Bands the RSI is not very effective on its own. I.e. if you buy when it looks oversold or sell when it looks overbought you're likely going to be trading on false signals. So now that you've set up the RSI and the Bollinger Bands it's time to use them together. Now, this strategy is centered around the concept of mean reversion. Mean refers to the average and reversion means returning to. So mean reversion then means returning to the average. And this is what we're aiming for in this trading strategy. So for example, in most cases, if there's an extreme price movement in one direction, whether up or down, we can predict that the price will return to the average, the moving average. So if the price goes above the upper band of the Bollinger Bands, we want to enter a short trade. And if the price goes below the Bollinger Band, we want to enter a long trade. Simple enough, right? Well, if you did this on its own, it probably wouldn't work too well and you'd probably come across a lot of false signals. To solve this issue, we add another requirement. You can only enter a trade if the RSI hits an extreme value. So this means that you'll only enter a trade if the price moves below the lower Bollinger Band and the RSI goes below 30. And for shorting, we'll only enter a trade if the price goes above the upper Bollinger Band and the RSI goes above 70. So let's take a look at an example. So the price drops below the Bollinger Band and at the same time, the RSI drops below 30. We enter a long trade at this point and the price returns to the average just as we predicted. But as I said earlier, there's some extra crucial information you need to make this trading strategy work better. And the main issue is again, that you're still gonna encounter false signals. So how do we refine this strategy? So in addition to the price going below the bottom band of the Bollinger Band, you want to have the confirmation of divergence on the RSI. As I said in a previous video, divergence is the key. So if the price is making higher highs, which you can see here, while the RSI is making lower highs, this divergence suggests a potential reversal. Now, patience is absolutely key here. You want to wait for the momentum to change hands before you enter a trade. So how do you identify your entry signals? I like to look at moving averages. And as you can see, conveniently, the Bollinger Band has the 30 SMA on it. So I don't enter the trade until price closes above the 30 SMA and closes above the 50 line on the RSI. Now, this is a great example. So you have oversold conditions, the divergence, 
then price moving above the moving average and above the 50% level on the RSI. If you enter here, you'll set your stop below the recent low and you'll take profit at the top band of the Bollinger Bands. And there you have it. Now I want to show you a short example. So as you can see here, this is the USD JPY hourly charts. And here we see the price move to the top Bollinger Band. We also see the RSI go above 70. We wait to see if our divergence forms and price move below the simple moving average of the Bollinger Band. And there you see it. So you enter the short trade using the recent high as your stop loss and the bottom band as your profit target. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about any of the indicators we used or any other trading strategy questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Our website is fxscouts.com. And as always, please remember to subscribe and like. It means that we can continue our momentum of creating very useful trading strategy videos and educational videos about Forex trading in general.